Good evening and welcome to Night Prayer or Compline for the benefits of St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter's for Friday the 14th of August 2020. Today in the Church of England we commemorate Maximilian Kolbe, Friar Martyr. Just a few words about Maximilian Kolbe. Maximilian Kolbe was born, was born at Zundunska Wola near Lotz in Poland in 1894. His parents were Franciscan tertiaries and beginning his training for ordination in 1907, Maximilian joined the conventual Fra Franciscan novitiate in 1910. He studied in Rome, but suffering from tuberculosis, he returned to Poland and became a lecturer in church history. After suffering a severe illness, he resolved to publish a magazine for Christian readers and this soon gained a huge circulation. Soon his community was producing daily and weekly journals. After the Nazi invasion of Poland, Maximilian was arrested as an intellectual and taken to Auschwitz in May 1941. There he continued his priestly ministry secretly celebrating the Eucharist. After an escape, 10 prisoners were chosen to forfeit their lives and Maximilian stepped forward to take the place of one of them. They were starved for two weeks before Maximilian was injected with phenol and died on this day in 1941. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our rector, the Reverend Joe Richards, who is on other duties. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. We say together our traditional hymn for Compline. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The refrain for Psalm 139 is search me out, O God, and know my heart. Search me out, O God, 
and know my heart. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. For you yourself created my innermost parts, and you knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form, as yet unfinished, Already in your book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Creator God, may every breath we take be for your glory. May every footstep show you as our way, that trusting in your presence in this world, we may beyond this life still be with you, where you are alive and reign for ever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A scripture reading from Thessalonians. God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. The Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation 
which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Let us pray. Good Lord, we have much to thank you for. But tomorrow we celebrate the Victory in Japan Day. And we remember the appalling cost in combat, in prison camps, in the dropping of atomic bombs to humanity. And we pray, Lord, that never again will we find ourselves in a world war of such ferocity and appalling costs. We thank you, Lord, for the youth of this country, for the hard work that so many put into their schoolwork over the most difficult time. And we pray that justice will be achieved for their efforts in their certification and their futures in professions and universities. We ask you, Lord, to, to be with those who have been lonely this week, who have found it difficult because of a lack of human touch we know how lucky so many of, of us are who are able to contact warm human beings, either personally or through the vir virtue of information technology. Let no one be left alone, Lord. And finally, we pray for ourselves that as we come to worship you together on Sunday, we make sure that we look for a change in our lives to the benefit of our Christian way and our community. We pray all these things, Lord, in the certain knowledge of your love and through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, who sent your Holy Spirit to be the life and light of your church, Open our hearts to the riches of your grace, that we may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in love and joy and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. 
Let us pray together with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for Night Prayer at Compline tonight. Uh, our next service uh, will be uh, a live service at uh, 09, uh, at 9.30 at St Peter's, uh, where you are very welcome if you are able to make it. For those of you who can't, at 10 o'clock I will be leading a, a service of matins and then at 11 15 uh, we will have the virtual coffee gathering as usual on zoom the 9 30 service at st peter's will be recorded and the rector uh, will lead it and then put up uh, the recording onto youtube Have a very quiet night tonight. Enjoy Saturday. And whether at St Peter's or online, I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Good night. <laughs>